Sometimes the F plasmid becomes integrated into the host cell genome. The host cell is now referred to as HFR, which stands for high frequency of recombination. The HFR is able to transfer some of the host genes to the recipient. The sex pillus contacts the recipient F- cell and pulls the cells together. The donor chromosome is transferred as single-stranded DNA starting at the origin of transfer. Gene 1, which is closest to the origin, is transferred first. Segments of the integrated plasmid are at the beginning and the end of the DNA being transferred. It is theoretically possible for the complete genome and the F plasmid to be transferred to the recipient cell. However, this does not happen because the donor and recipient cells will separate prior to the complete transfer of the donor chromosome. The transferred DNA becomes double-stranded. The donor DNA is integrated into the recipient cell's DNA by homologous recombination. The recipient now carries transferred genes but remains F-, whereas the donor cell remains HFR.